Here this will be a video chart on KATX. Can't remember the last time I did it, but uh, definitely coming back to life here. And we actually have a uh, pattern breakout going on. So I'll draw up the pattern and show uh, where the breakout has occurred. Uh, one thing to note though is uh, volume isn't quite there yet. I mean, it's definitely better than what it was during this uh, portion of time and over here. Uh, but usually on breakouts, you want to see bigger volume. So if we had gotten a volume bar like this or something like uh, that today, it'd be a little bit more um, kind of exciting. Not that it's not exciting because price action is king, uh, but uh, probably the better word would have been confidence building. I mean, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I say on breakouts, the more volume you have, the more confidence you can have in it. So yes, we had a breakout, but you know I wouldn't go you know, bet the house on it quite yet because the volume wasn't quite there. But overall, don't get me wrong, the past three days have been uh, very solid. It's just that the volume uh, hasn't quite been there like it has in the past. So let's get this uh, pattern drawn out here. And the first part of it I want to draw is what we'll call the flagpole. And essentially all that is is uh, the portion of the pattern where the price essentially goes straight up on uh, solid volume. And uh, let me change the color of that something neutral uh, we'll just go with uh, a grayish so this is what we'll call the, the flagpole and like I said you know big move upwards you can see that during this whole move up uh, volume was very solid and uh, then during the pullback time for the most part it has uh, definitely dropped off for the portion for the uh, bottom portion of it we had a support level that uh, came to pass right about here in this area uh, let me get this out of the way. There we go. So if we give this another try, and these lines won't be perfect, but um, you can see that we had an area right here where at this point it was resistance, but when it broke through, came down, got tested here, acted as support, then once more uh, here. Yes, I know it didn't exactly hit it, but remember support and resistance areas are not exact specific prices. They are uh, zones or uh, webs, however you want to think of it. So this was right there was the um, support area of the pattern. And then we had uh, the resistance portion, which was the downtrend line. So if I draw that and uh, put it right there, so you can see based off right here, uh, the price then knocked it down right there. Once again, didn't quite hit it, but close enough, knocked it down, knocked it down, knocked it down. You get the point, knocked it down again. However, that was not the case here. You can see that not only did the price break through this area, it closed above it. Let me change this to red real quick to represent uh, resistance. So that is where the uh, chart pattern breakout is occurring uh, at right here. Now the other thing uh, besides the lack of volume if I had to nitpick at something is we have this guy right here the purple line which is the 50 day simple moving average and you know it's it's going to be it was a very uh, influential area of support as you can see right here the price bounce right here the price bounce and then when it did fall you can see you got a pretty deep pullback um, so with that being such a solid area of support I do uh, expect it to be uh, kind of stubborn in terms of a resistance level because supports do become resistances when they're broken uh, but after that really that's the last hurdle and if you can get some more volume to come in you know you could uh, really see a nice uh, pattern breakout here with some follow through uh, so for right now I'm optimistic I'm not totally uh, sold yet mainly because of the volume if we would have had a volume bar like this then I'd be saying you know I think it's only a matter of time before the 50 day uh, something we would average falls uh, but unfortunately didn't quite get the volume so uh, you got to be a little careful on this but like I said price action is king price has been going up and volume isn't what makes you money uh, the price action does I mean a stock can get like the triple zero one triple zero twos you know they can get billions and billions of shares but if the price never moves nobody's ever gonna make any money so at the end of the day it's all about the price action price action has been going up I would just like to see a little bit more volume get in here to help uh, you know put some confidence into these sorts of moves uh, but at the same time 1.9 million shares up at this price you know it's doing some nice liquidity uh, but compared to its past history it definitely has potential to do a little bit more volume uh, but you know overall the end of the day we are in a, a chart pattern breakout so it's the rest of this week will just uh, kind of be the main question will be do we get any follow through now that we've gotten through this resistance line and uh, you know I wish I had the answer to that but that's what charts are for it'll definitely uh, show us whether or not we get any sort of follow through but uh, you know hopefully it will but we'll just have to see uh, wait and see what happens
So if there are any other questions, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you will be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from uh, penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of for everybody. It's all free. We've been making some good money together with our alerts and so forth. So I'd encourage you to uh, head to the site, uh, check it out, and uh, sign up. One more time, this was KATX. Thanks for listening.